Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Shingy. I am back with another video. I keep pushing them out and you guys keep liking them. I'm extremely grateful for that. Like honestly, I know it's not like a lot of numbers, but every single like you guys give and every single comment, it actually really helps the channel grow. It helps me feel like you guys love the content that I'm creating and it makes me want to create more content. I'm super thankful. I'm just super extremely thankful. But let's get straight to the video. No, 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 no. Let's talk about my smoothie. My smoothie is freaking amazing. This thing is fucking bomb. <laughs> um, it's a strawberry banana with walnuts and yogurt smoothie. Really good. Thing tastes amazing. Like I've, I've had so many smoothies over the last couple of days because I'm still in like wisdom teeth recovery and I learned a lot about smoothies But anyways, let's get straight to the video. I don't make this video longer than it should be straight to the video How to get the lowest amount of grain in all your images So guys you could apply this with digital photography as well as film But I'm gonna focus on film because I'm a film photographer and that's what I want my channel to be leaning more towards So let's talk about it when picking your film you make sure the ISO number is low. So you want to get ISO 100 film. You want to get ISO 50D film. ISO 50D is only available on Sinstill. I don't know if there's any other 50 rated films. I don't know that, but if I do find out, I don't want to do a Google search because I want to grow with you guys. And if I do stumble upon one, I'll be like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, 50D, like there's like not 50D, but like 50 braided film. Holy shit. I gotta make a video about that. I wanna search it up. I want all of this to be organic and I wanna learn along with you guys. The max you want to get the cleanest image is ISO 400 film. So that could be Fuji Pro 400H, that could be Portra 400. But the lowest, lowest amount would be Ektar 100 or even Fuji Industrial 100. Those are really clean images with less grain. That's how you get the less amount of grain in all your images but when you pick the lowest ISO film there's always compensation with photography you're always giving up something to get something else with whether it be aperture ISO or shutter speed so in this case you'd be giving up a lot of light whatever film you're gonna end up getting that is a hundred a hundred rated ISO film you're not gonna be able to shoot it during the night you cannot shoot it at night unless you have like some crazy big-ass ginormous light <laughs> um, that's the only time but you cannot use it during nighttime because it's not gonna work it's gonna be too dark but just know the less grain you want in your image the less light you're gonna be giving off the most safest way that a lot of people do go is ISO 400 film it's like the perfect medium between you're gonna get less grain as well as light compensation so that is a, the, the best medium you could get if you want to get good light and shoot even when it's a little bit darker and all that kind of stuff that's the film you got to go for but if you really are shooting in studio you can even shoot portrait 160 which is really Really good the image is gonna come out amazing if you're shooting in daylight Porsche 160 would do phenomenal so that's how you get the lowest amount of grain in all your images uh, again you could apply this with digital photography other than that thank you guys for tuning in shot by Shingi like comment share and subscribe and again follow me on Instagram follow me on tumblr check out the brand I'm always wearing my brand clothing shopwaybetterco.com and again if you guys have any video suggestions drop them down below check out my work everything all the links is down below in the comment section thank you guys for tuning in you're awesome keep shooting bro keep fucking shooting are you fucking dumb Psh.